Hello everyone, we are the SEG student chapter of the University of Tasmania and the Center for Ore Deposits and Earth Science Codes. We are located in Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. Welcome to our virtual field trip blog from our recent field trip to King Island. We went there from the 14th to the 18th of April of 2021. This year we were desperate to go into the field and see some cool rocks. After filling lengthy paperwork with some risk assessments and with all the health and safety measures, we were ready to start our field trip. We drove from Hobart to Launceston and then we flew to King Island. We were based in Koori, a small town on the west coast of the island. The first stop of our field trip was the Dolphin Open Pit Mine. To get there we drove around 30 minutes from Koori to another small town called Grassy on the east coast of King Island. At Grassy we met the team, the geologist in charge of the project who gave us an introduction of the geology and took us to the open pit. Dolphin is a tungsten deposit where the mineralization occurs as cores and fine disseminations of shellite in the skarn mineralogy. The skarn is made up of layer and banded garnet skarn as well as pyroxene garnet skarn and was formed within the metamorphic oriole of granodiorite plutons and placed about 350 million years ago, intruding the calcareous sediments and carbonates. When we walked into the pit, we were able to see zonation of the skarn from pyroxene ridge to garnet ridge. The area with well crystallized dark brown garnets contained a higher presence of disseminated shellite. Shellite is a calcium tungstate mineral that is translucent yellowish in color and fluoresces bright blue under ultraviolet light. Sample here, and uh, this has shellite which make with legend with the UV lamp. And uh, the dots here are really cool. So. We collected some samples, and at night we were able to clearly see the fluorescence, was spectacular. Tungsten is obtained from shellite and is a key component in the manufacture of lighting filaments and electronics, coatings, microchip technology, and our steel toe boots. Our trip then continued to the waste area to see rejected rock samples from the old mine, which presented a lot of shellite mineralization on them. We were looking for the best rock samples while we were escaping from the Titan waves. On day two we saw lots of metamorphic rocks. We started the day at Stokes Point in the south of the island. The geology of the Stokes Point area is dominated by the Mesoproterozoic Surprise Bay Formation, a sequence of samites and pelites which have been dated to about 1,350 million years. These are thought to be some of the oldest rocks in Tasmania. We saw some spectacular porphyroblasts of andalusite and grossular garnet in this location. Metamorphism is believed to have peaked around 1,280 million years ago during burial, with temperatures reaching up to 580 degrees Celsius. In the afternoon of day two, we drove to Cape Wickham in the northeast of King Island. At this location, the rocks have been intruded by 760 million year old granite, resulting in intense contact metamorphism and multi-phase deformation, as evident by intense folding, boudinage and myelinite zones in local rocks. In proximity to the contact, the schists are cross-cut by coarse granitic dikes, where Carla found some large tourmaline crystals. Our final day in the field started in the south of the city of Melbourne Bay, where we first found the reddish-purple Yarra Creek shell. This shell was deposited by an accumulation of mud on the deep sea floor over a substantial duration of about 60 million years. Further south, we soon came to a thick unit of... Pillows! <laughs> Pillow lava forms when lava is erupted into seawater and its surface instantly cools to form a skin. The volcanics were erupted during a rifting event in the late Ediacaran period, potentially during the final episode in the breakup of the supercontinent Rodinia. In the northern end of the city of Melbourne Bay is one of the scattered localities on Earth that preserves the cryogenian to Ediacaran contact of the Snowball Earth global glaciation event which occurred around 635 million years ago. 
To conclude the trip, the group ran a barbecue where we reflected on our time on King Island. It's been fantastic, I love it. We have seen so many rocks, super cool. It's been such a great time with good friends. I think it's very impressive the density of different rock types and paleo environments that King Island has to offer in such a small area. I think the field trip was a resounding success. It was really good, we learned lots, we had a lot of fun. And yeah, it's been a great field trip. We've seen like a huge variety from um, scarns and metamorphic rocks to my favourite, the volcanic rocks. So I think there was something here for everyone. I think given the uncertainty with the weather, we got really lucky and we've been blessed with some really beautiful days, beautiful geology and beautiful people. Oh, <laughs>